Have you ever found yourself pondering on the concept of afterlife? It's a question as old as humanity itself, a concept steeped in the traditions of countless cultures and religions. From the Elysian fields of ancient Greece to the heavenly realms of Judeo-Christian beliefs, the afterlife has always been a fascinating enigma, an intriguing mystery that has captivated our collective imagination. Yet in the midst of these ethereal and spiritual interpretations, there's room for a radically different perspective. A perspective rooted not in ancient scriptures or divine revelations, but in the rigorous equations and theorems of modern physics. Yes, we're talking about none other than Albert Einstein's groundbreaking special theory of relativity. This revolutionary theory has transformed our understanding of the universe, shattering our conventional notions of space and time. But could the complex principles of the special theory of relativity offer a new perspective on the afterlife? Let's delve deeper and find out. Uh, now you might be wondering, what does the special theory of relativity have to do with the afterlife? They go, well, let's take a moment to unpack this groundbreaking theory. At its core, the special theory of relativity is built on two main postulates. The first postulate states that the laws of physics are the same in all inertial frames. This means whether you're standing still or speeding through space, the way the universe works doesn't change. Your cup of tea will still steep, gravity will still pull you down, and your heart will continue to beat. The second postulate is perhaps a bit more challenging to wrap our heads around. It asserts that the speed of light in a vacuum is the same for all observers, regardless of their motion or the source of light. This implies that no matter how fast you're traveling, light will always seem to be moving away from you at the same speed about 186,000 miles per second. Quite a mind-boggler, isn't it? These principles challenge our conventional understanding of space and time. In our everyday lives, we perceive space as something we move through and time as something that ticks away. But in the special theory of relativity, space and time aren't separate entities. Instead, they're aspects of a more comprehensive concept, space-time. Space-time is a four-dimensional fabric that's warped and distorted by the objects within it. Imagine a trampoline with a bowling ball in the middle. The ball creates a dip, a distortion in the fabric of the trampoline. That's similar to how space-time works. Objects with mass, like our planet, distort the space-time around them, creating what we perceive as gravity. So, in the realm of relativity, time and space are interwoven into a single continuum known as space-time. Now that we've grasped the basics of the special theory of relativity, let's delve into how it connects to our understanding of the afterlife. Picture this, space-time. It's a four-dimensional fabric woven together by the three dimensions of space and the one dimension of time. Within this fabric, every event, every moment, every instance of existence is stitched together. This is a fundamental concept of Einstein's special theory of relativity. Now let's consider life and death. Traditionally, we perceive these two states as a linear progression. Life comes first, followed by death, and then some believe the afterlife. But consider this through the lens of space-time. In this four-dimensional fabric, past, present and future are not separate entities. They are not beads on a string, one following the other in a neat linear progression. No, they exist simultaneously. Every moment that has been, that is, and that will be, is happening right now. It's all there, stitched into the tapestry of space-time. So what does this mean for our understanding of life, death and the afterlife? If all of time exists at once, then the moments of our lives, our deaths, and potentially our afterlives are all existing together. They are not separate events, but rather different points on the space-time continuum. This perspective can be mind-boggling, but it also opens up new possibilities for how we perceive the concept of an afterlife. Instead of viewing it as a state reached after death, could it perhaps be seen as a simultaneous existence? Could our afterlife simply be another point on this continuum, happening concurrently with our life and death? So could the afterlife then simply be another point in this space-time continuum? If we view the afterlife through the lens of relativity, what might we see? A rather intriguing question, don't you think? Let's delve a little deeper into this concept. When we consider the afterlife through the scope of the space-time continuum, we start to see a shift in our traditional understanding of life and death. Typically, we consider life and death as two distinct states of existence, separated by a clear boundary. Life is here and now, while death and any possible afterlife is somewhere else and some other time. 
However, when we consider the space-time continuum and Einstein's special theory of relativity, this boundary begins to blur. The space-time continuum does not distinguish between past, present and future in the same way we do. To space-time, all points exist simultaneously, so if we apply this concept to the afterlife, we could theorize that the afterlife is not a future state of existence, but rather a point that already exists in space-time. It's not a place we go to or a time we arrive at after death. Instead, it's a point on the space-time grid that we already inhabit just in a different dimension of reality. This perspective certainly challenges our conventional views, doesn't it? It suggests a radical reconsideration of what we understand as life, death and what lies beyond. It implies that the afterlife isn't a metaphysical realm, but a physical reality that exists concurrently with our own, just in a different spatial or temporal dimension. This idea opens up new possibilities for understanding the afterlife. It suggests that death might not be an end, but merely a transition. A transition from one point in space-time to another, from one form of existence to another, the afterlife then might not be a place or a time, but rather just another point in the space-time continuum. So, next time you ponder the mysteries of life and death, remember to consider the lens of relativity. It might just offer a whole new perspective. So, we've taken a rather unconventional journey today, haven't we? We've ventured into the realm of the afterlife, not through spiritual or religious lenses, but through the lens of Einstein's special theory of relativity. We've explored the concept of space-time, the idea that space and time are woven together into one continuous fabric. We've discussed how, according to Einstein, the past, present and future coexist, suggesting a new perspective on the afterlife. We've considered the possibility that what we conceive as the afterlife could simply be an existence in a different dimension of space-time. Such a notion challenges our traditional beliefs and prompts us to think beyond our limited perception of reality. It encourages us to question, to probe deeper, to seek answers in the realms of science rather than myth. Perhaps the afterlife isn't so much a life after death as it is a timeless, spaceless point in the continuum and maybe, just maybe, Einstein's special theory of relativity has brought us one step closer to demystifying it. Well, that's all we have for today. We hope you enjoyed this journey into the realm of the afterlife through the lens of Einstein's special theory of relativity. We've delved into deep, complex concepts, challenging traditional beliefs, and embracing the profound possibilities presented by science. It's been thought-provoking and at times mind-boggling, but that's the beauty of exploring the mysteries of the universe, isn't it? If you found this video interesting, enlightening or even just plain weird, we encourage you to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more mind-expanding content. Don't forget to share this with your fellow thinkers and curiously-minded friends. We created this platform as a space for questioning, learning and growing together. So we want to hear your thoughts. What are your views on the afterlife? How has this scientific perspective influenced your thinking? Let's keep the conversation going in the comments section below. Remember, the universe is full of mysteries waiting to be unraveled. So keep asking the hard questions and never stop exploring. Until next time, stay curious.